Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing uh, Q3 of the recently called contest. I'm just going to redo this one. Um, this one during the, during the video, um, which I'll put a link below, uh, I made it an N square algorithm. And it seems like there's an N, O of N algorithm, which you didn't need for this contest, and luckily, because I didn't do it that way. But uh, by picking, taking advantage of the fact that extra is not really needed, you can just always assume that it'll be matched in the future. Um, and making sure that, you know, uh, so I'm going to try to do that live and see if I can, um, uh, yeah, just do it. Or even if, uh, even if that, um, or maybe even just constrain it to, you know, um, yeah, what is it? Uh, do, 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 right. If extra is equal to zero. So even if we just limit it by this, I think we still already good let's give it a summit and yeah and uh just just this little bit reduce this reduce the space by o of n um it's the same idea but basically it's just greedily matching them and by greedily matching them because you can the way to think about this is that there's a there's a sort of a a swap call right like let's say i'm doing the i and the j's in the paren and this of course assumes that you already kind of understand my other video and what i'm trying to do there but let's say you know you can you have some like you know parents that kind of look something like this with respect to like i and j's and matching um but you can all in this particular problem it doesn't matter because the cost is the same you can just kind of greedily you know flip them over and then match match the other ones so and in that way you can greedily um just do a plus one minus one depending on extra is zero or not which makes this a boolean thing right and because extra is now boolean uh, and extra is now zero and it's just zero and one so it's two so then now they have zero and inputs and now everything is linear and that's pretty much it um a very good observation i actually thought about this during the contest but to be honest i didn't think about it that much because i didn't need it for n square but yeah as you can kind of see from the time and and the solution as well. Um, this is going to be linear time. So yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. And yeah, I'm going. Uh, uh, I'm going to just like substitute the rest of the uh, the video uh, in the description. I'll just kind of post on this one, but uh, or maybe I'll just leave it in the description. So yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if the you know the linear explanation is helpful. Um, there are a couple of ways to write this. Um, if you kind of look at the forms as um, because you know you can do like two at a time, so then you don't have to do the current skip. But you know, like if you know what the next one is, then you you know. But yeah, uh, there are also a couple of ways to do it. But this is the way that I end up doing. So yeah, and you could and a lot of solutions kind of did some um, kind of compression -y thing, but you don't really need it. So yeah, linear time. What do you know? That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'll put a description on the other problem below. So stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.